This is Lucy's hat now, and you can see here the decreases, what happens after you've done a bunch of them. You can see they lean to the left and lean to the right in pairs, so it, it looks quite nice and neat. She is, however, at the point where you'd need to change to double points to keep going because the stitches really don't fit comfortably around the needle anymore. I would like to show you an alternative to double points if you're feeling like trying something new, and that is working on two circulars. You can do this uh, down to the very last stitches on the hat. I have here a circular needle with the same needle size. I think at least 24 inches long is a good length. It's comfortable uh, to work with. For the sake of demonstration, I've picked one that is a different material, so it will be easy to tell which is needle A and which is needle B. It's not necessary, um, but it could be helpful in keeping track of which needle is which, especially when you're getting started with this method, because you will be using the two tips of needle B or the two tips of needle A. You'll never be using a tip of needle A with a tip of needle B. Uh, and it's you'll know right away if your needles are different materials. The first step is to transfer half of the stitches onto your new needle. And I am just going to slip these purlwise. There are 70 stitches here, so I'm going to slip 35 on, um, or I may slip fewer than that so you don't have to uh, sit around and watch me slip 35, but um, it's, I mean, it's the way you should do it to have half and half. You would certainly want at least approximately half and half. Uh, we're getting close. All right. I'm going to pretend that's 35. I honestly wasn't counting. Yeah. No. Now we have two, two needles holding the stitches. The stitches are on the cords of each of the needles. There's a front needle, which will be the one that we knit with, and a rear needle. The stitches will just rest on that waiting. They'll be resting on the cord portion, not the needle portion. It is important that your yarn is attached to the right-hand side of the rear needle. That's step one. If, if the things are not oriented that way, make it so. The second step is to slide, or this is what I like to do, I like to slide all the stitches I'm going to work onto the needle in the front. And then I take hold of the yarn. It's coming from this back needle. I'm going to knit on the front needle and just by doing that I've joined it. So the yarn came off of the back needle, it's working across the front needle, it's in the round. And I am just going to knit across all of these stitches using the two points of the same needle, the bamboo needle in this case. Oh boy. All right, almost there. All right, now I knit all of the stitches on the front needle. I will slide this front needle so that the stitches are now on the cord and therefore secure. They're not going to pop off the needle. I will turn my work so that once again I'm, I'm back at the starting point where the yarn is connected to the rear needle at the right hand side and I am going to work across the front needle. Slide these stitches of the front metal needle onto the needle part. Take hold of the yarn coming off the back needle and start knitting. And you just knit across these stitches. <laughs> 